the coaching staff and the players that were here and um, my mom always laughs because I also said the food court when I came to my visit was like the best thing ever so um, but yeah just the culture the environment I felt like it'd be a good place to be. Like a family, like a culture that I really love to be a part of. I just even think the town itself is a good environment, great fans. It felt comfortable for my parents to drop me off here and say, see you later. And, you know, there is comfort there. And I think that was the biggest thing because I had never really been to Iowa before. Um, and it'd be my first time on my own. So I think that was just like a really big important factor. It was quite an adjustment playing a new position I've never been in before. And then volleyball itself was just new to me. I was always a basketball kid um, and that was my primary sport growing up. So a late bloomer in volleyball. So it was just a lot of information at one time. And then just learning how people just are on the court and how they show emotion was just like a struggle for me because I would get a kill and I just, I never really got excited because I'm just like, oh, okay, it's like kind of awkward, but I'm much better now when I'm playing <laughs> as an adult. <laughs> Man, I loved all of my coaches that I've had. Christy, Christy, Dawn, Joe, Trudy, all of them were, I mean, really big parts of my journey because I was so new to volleyball. I spent a lot of time with Dawn, uh, so a lot of time because um, that was her specialty, working with the outsides, and so that was something new I was learning. I thought I knew things before I got here, and I did not at all, so I was quickly humbled, and I mean, she showed me a lot, and I think I would have never gotten to as far as I would have um, without them. I remember beating them and um, the students and everyone stormed the court and it was so fun, I think just all the fans coming out of the stands and just interacting with us and jumping around in excitement I think was really fun to be a part of. And then beating them is always great because yeah. they're, they're tough, so yeah, that was pretty cool. The fans are great here. Um, even senior year playing at Ames High School, you know, it felt like it didn't, we didn't miss a beat, you know, it didn't feel any different because we weren't in Holton and then even being in Kansas City there's a ton of fans of Iowa State fans and they travel to Big 12 tournament and there's Iowa State places where you can go and watch games so I don't know I feel like everywhere I turn there's there's a fan in a store I'm yelling go state go cyclones and they're right back at me so I love it Loves my teammates. I knew Kaylee even prior to coming to Iowa State because we were being recruited. So I knew Kaylee in club and I was excited. You know, I was going somewhere where I knew someone. But Kaylee, I mean, she, Hall of Famer, like her resume speaks for itself. Um, great setter, um, Ashley Moss, the great libero who also was inducted. So, I mean, all of my teammates were amazing individuals and I enjoyed playing with every single one. Um, they're, they're, They've been great to me when I was here and I stay in touch with a few now and I know that there's going to be some hopefully in the audience today that I can say hello to that I hadn't seen in a while but um, the teammates are amazing, the staff and support is amazing, Mary Meyer, all-time favorite trainer. I think I would see her like every day and just, can you rub my knees, you know, I just, and so yeah, she's been great too. Competitive and just really just hungry to get after it. That's what I would say. And work ethic was there pretty high when it comes to the sport and just sticking around. I didn't have an easy road here. It was challenges along the way. And there were times, you know, I was questioning certain things with my mom and it was just like, how bad do I want this and how hard do I want to work? And I just, I spent every summer working out with Mosier, morning workout, sometimes by myself, getting a workout in because I just, I really wanted to be 
on the floor and I mean I'm so thankful that that's the decision that I chose is to just put forth the work and it showed and I love that. I'm probably gonna cry. I don't even want to cry. Um, it's really huge. I've, I'm always humbled. Um, I've always been a humbled athlete and so you know people would ask you like hey are you good at whatever sport it is and I'm always like I'm okay you know. Um, so this is just kind of like the first time that I really feel like I'm like super proud and I've like reached that point of being like, yeah, you know, I am pretty good, you know, so it's really big. It's huge for our family too. Um, everybody's really proud, but um, it's just, I never looked at accolades growing up. I never paid attention to it. I got them, but I was just like, I didn't really understand it, you know, because I was so new, um, but this, I do understand and it, it is a huge milestone and I'm super proud.